section 3 of chapter 12. This is talking about balance score card, balance score card method. So friends, we have understood that IT strategy and business strategy should be aligned. Now the question is that we have to understand how IT works. IT works on the basis of certain modules, smaller modules and with the help of every module or a small software, we monitor, we work a particular activity or a particular activity of the organization. Say, billing. Billing is an activity which has to be done in say a mall or a store. So, IT will help us in this billing process. Bill will be prepared with the help of information systems. What this information system will do? Will fetch the details of the product which are going to be built and then automatically compute the taxes and let us know the money to be collected from the customer. Key performance indicator KPI for this activity from the business perspective may be how much time we are spending in preparation of this bill. This is KPI or the key performance indicator. This key performance indicator will measure two things. One, the efficiency, efficiency of the person who is preparing this bill. Two, efficiency of the software, IT enabled bill making application. How fast this application is in a position to support the person who is making a bill. How to measure it? What kind of business strategy we should have for the overall development of the business and how IT should support that may be understood with the help of various models and techniques. Here we are going to talk about one such method which is known as balance score card. So what is this balance score card is something we are going to talk about. Thus far, whatever we have done is something like post-mortem, but this balance of scorecard popularly known as, as BSC is one of the most influential management ideas of the past 75 years. This is something which Harvard Business Review is saying. So HBR editors consider the BSC as one of the most influential management ideas of the last 75 years. Let's know more about it. Balance scorecard is used to clarify and update the strategy. So the basic purpose of the balance scorecard is to clarify and update the strategy. Okay. Now on the basis of this clarified strategy, what are we going to do is to align IT strategy with the business strategy and link strategic objectives to long term goals and budgets. So friends, the Existing approach, the old approach is based on lagging indicators. What are the lagging indicators? We have profit loss account, we have cash flow, we have a balance sheet. We have to confirm what has happened. It's post water. The thing is over. Now what are we doing? We are analyzing with the help of balance sheet and profit loss account. It evaluates outcomes and achievements. It's all about the past. Represent history, not ideal for managing day-to-day -day operations and planning. How can I plan? How should I manage if the tools with me are concentrating on past? So, what's new? So, the new thing for us friends is multi-dimensional approach to business and this multi-dimensional approach to business is based on leading indicators, not on lagging indicators, but on leading indicators. What are the leading indicators? It is, it is something like they predict future events to identify opportunities. So we are going to talk about such leading indicators based on balance score card. Leading indicators will be based on the four core business areas which balance score card is addressing. Like any scorecard of a 
child, what do we want to have is a scorecard of the business. Thus far, whatever we have seen is one scorecard which is talking about the financials. But financials are nothing but the outcome of various activities and processes. So, financials will be based on business processes. Business processes will depend upon innovation and learning and growth. This innovation, learning and growth has to be done for the satisfaction of customer. So, let us have few such indicators in four major areas. One is financial, two maybe business processes, three maybe innovation, learning and growth and four maybe customers. What am I going to do in the area of customers? What are the short term objectives, medium term objectives and long term objectives to satisfy customers? I know. If the customers are satisfied, then it will lead to more profits. On the basis of feedback received from the customers, we will be able to do something like innovation. This will lead to learning and growth. We will improve our business processes. So friends, this balance scorecard is talking about the four major areas of business. One by one, let us understand them. Answer to the following questions will be provided by balance scorecard to help identify important value drivers. One is financials. To succeed financially, how should we appear to our investors and shareholders? Two, customers. To achieve our vision, how should we provide value to our customers? Three, business processes. To satisfy our shareholders and customers, what business processes must we focus on and excel at? And finally, the fourth one, innovation, learning and growth. To achieve our vision, how will we sustain our ability to innovate, learn, change and improve? These are the four areas and balance scorecard is talking about all the four one by one. Financial, customer, business processes, innovation, learning and growth. In every such area, we may have few key indicators, KPIs, key performance indicators or leading indicators. Let us have a glance of such indicators. So, matrix or indicator, few examples are there. In the case of financials, we may have revenue and revenue growth rates. How much you have earned, how much you, so sales you have made and how much growth is happening. Earnings and cash flow, assets utilization, financial. You may keep on adding more and more. Similarly, in the case of customers, we may have market share, we may have customer acquisition, retention and loyalty, we may have customer relationships, satisfaction, likes, recommendations and loyalty, we may have brand image, reputation and price value relationship and many more you can keep on adding. So in this manner friends, we are going to have many such indicators, such indicators may be converted into key performance indicators. Similarly, in the case of business processes, cycle time, defect rate, how much time you are consuming to make a bill, to produce a machine, to pack a bundle. Okay. Similarly, production throughput, productivity rates, cost per process, cost per transaction. So, how can I reduce cost per transaction may be one of the objectives and key performance indicator. Similarly, in the case of innovation, learning and growth, we may have employee skills, morale, turnover, capacity for change, IT capabilities, employee motivation, research and development, percentage revenue from new products and services. So friends, in this manner, we may develop 
come out with new such indicators. Indicators. It will be a matrix of indicators and we will be monitoring such indicators with the help of balance scorecard. Why this is balanced? Because this is talking about all the four major areas, financial, customer, business processes, innovation and learning and growth. So, we have to clarify and update a strategy in consonance with, consonance with business balance scorecard. So, IT and business strategy alignment through balance scorecard. Align IT strategy with business strategy. Balance scorecard is in a position to help you to clarify the strategy, clarify and update the strategy. Now you have clarified new updated strategy. So align IT strategy with business strategy. Link a strategic objectives to long term goals and annual budgets. And how it will be done. So friends, we have this sequential diagram. First, identify performance matrix. This I have already shared with you. Then select meaning meaningful objectives. Bill preparation time from two minutes to one and a half minutes. Select effective measures and targets. 30 bills per hour. 40 bills per hour. Now obviously it will be talking about the implementation of technology and the skill set of the human being which is doing the job. Then revise action, collect, analyze and data with targets, compare them, collect, analyze and data with the targets, implement necessary data collection tools and then again go for the alignment. So in this manner, we implement a balance score card. Let's have another example of balance score card. It's talking about a low cost airline balance score card. Overview of low cost airlines balance score card. Objectives, measures, targets and actions to achieve targets. How and what should be done. So, the objective is to increase net profit. The objective is to increase the net profit. It's talking about the financials. We know financial, then customer, then business process, and then learning and growth. Okay. So, the financial increase profits. How can you increase the profits? By reducing cost or increasing revenue. Only two options are there. For this, what are you supposed to do? You have to talk, you have to talk and consider the customers. In the case of customers, percent of flights arriving on time will increase the customer satisfaction, will reduce the cost and increase the revenue, both. Similarly, low competitive prices should be offered, increased number of customers, so increased revenue. Now for this, what are we supposed to do? Minimize turnaround time on the ground. Whenever the aircraft is on the ground, minimize turnaround time. Minimize turnaround time means what? That within minimum possible time, your aircraft should be loaded with the new passengers and should fly to the new destination. Minimum turnaround time. See how can you help your passengers to deboard the aircraft unload their luggage, head the new passengers to board on the aircraft, load the new luggage and clean the cabin. This all has to be done in the minimum possible time. So, this is learning and growth, synchronized and efficient ground crew. So, we need synchronized and efficient ground crew. Those who are working at the ground they should work in sync and they should be highly efficient in whatever they do. So, the objective, rapid ground turnover time. Measurement, time on ground, on time departure ratio. How many times the flight landed and how many times it could depart 
on time. Targets 55 minutes, on time departure ratio 85%. Action to achieve targets synchronize ground crew activities, ensure flight crew availability, train employees to board passengers quickly. And in this manner, friends, we are in a position to see how balance scorecard in one area of the business will be in a position to help us to work on all the four areas financial, customer, business processes, and learning and growth. Every aspect is dependent on the other aspects. So, this balance scorecard will be able to focus and concentrate on every aspect of the business. What are the general steps for balance scorecard? So friends, we have few general steps. Identify performance matrix, then click link vision and strategy to results. Financial performance, operations, innovations and employee performance. This we have just seen. Then select meaningful objectives. This we have just seen. Meaningful objectives. Time on go, on ground, on time departure, 55 minutes, 85 percent. And then select effective measures and targets. Determine the action needed to achieve the targets. This also we have seen. Determine the actions needed. Actions to achieve the target. Implement necessary tracking, analytic communication and reporting systems including sensors, data visualization, mashups, dashboards, via social and mobile channels. So, when you have understood the action needed, now is the time to monitor. How can we monitor? We have understood, studied about all such factors like analytic communication, like reporting systems, including sensors, data visualization, mashups and dashboards via social and mobile channels. Collect, analyze and compare performance data with the targets. 55 minutes, how much time you have taken? 85% is like comparison. Then revise actions to improve performance gaps and take advantage of new opportunities. So friends, in this manner, we will be able to implement balance scorecard in any organization to improve the performance of the organization. At the end of this section also, we have few questions. I request you to go through the questions and find the answers to such questions.